act like solar panels. They're full of capillaries, and it's how these cold-blooded reptiles utilize the warmth and energy from the sun for their ability to hunt at night and digest their food. And again, not much has encouraged these animals to stay up on the surface for us today, so you gotta thank the gator. It's like, thank you. As I was running out here, I was saying to myself, please be there, please be there. And they actually both are still yes, moving, no. which is a great thing. Do not gesture over the side of the boat. He's coming, he's approaching us, checking us out, looking at us, looking at it. How old are, do you say that one is? It's, it's got to be 12 to 15 years old. They grow very slowly throughout their lives. Out of a clutch of 30 to 60 eggs, only three to four live to maturity. The sexual maturity for a gator is roughly eight or nine years old, or maybe, maybe four feet at that point, because of predation. Everything preys on the babies. Hawks, parrots, fish, turtles, other gators, even the bullfrogs will gobble them down like cheese doodles. You survive that, it's payback. It eats everything that tried to eat it, including smaller gators. These animals normally give each other distance. They don't get pretty close together, only during breeding. They do not play well together. They will kill and eat each other. Now everything is off kilter, with it being so warm. Migratory birds and ducks that would come down from the north by the millions to spend the winter here and raise their young didn't have to come this far south. They were stopping in the Carolinas and Georgia. The ones that did make it this far, they left weeks ago because the temperatures have been so moderate. Even the alligators, they breed March, April, and May, and babies hatch June and July. They start breeding in December. It was like springtime. Found a female early February with a nest, went back to see her mid 